Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Monchus. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another Siege Strass video. If it's your first time, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Alright, so I'm going to be covering two maps today. As you can see, the first one is going to be Oregon. The second one is going to be Outback. So it's a 2-0 maps. And yeah, let's get into it. First one I have is in Boiler Room. Uh, so this one's interesting. Actually, there was a patch and it released, uh, I believe, what is it, the 26th? Um, and these lights weren't as bright as they were before, so it was like, it was kind of dark. It was kind of like how it is over here. But yeah, they, since then, they fixed that. Um, but the reason that has to do with one of these cams is because I actually put cams back here. Um, the only thing, though, if you put a cam back here, uh, make sure it's in front or on. Oh my goodness. Make sure it's in front or on that circle uh, because even there you can pick it up, but behind you can't. Um, so this boiler room, it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of weird valve cam shenanigans you could do. Uh, so for example, the first valve cam that I put in there, it landed right there because I believe it bounced off a valve cam that was on that wall into that wall and it bounced on there because that's the way valve cams work is that they bounce off and you rarely ever need to know that. But over here, it's kind of cool because, uh, for example, if I wanted to get it deep in that corner right there, I can't just throw it in there, you know, because the valve cam is too wide. And even if I position myself, trust me, I was doing this for like 20 minutes. Even if I position myself over here, it's not gonna reach. If I position myself over here, it's still not gonna reach. It's just the way that Valkyrie throws the camera and then the way uh, the bars are built. Over here, it's a little bit thinner, so you can't throw it through. I want to say around these three bars, you can throw it through. Uh, but this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, so for that reason, you could do... Yeah, so you could do stuff like that and then bounce it off and it does that. And then see, it goes to that bar. You could do stuff like that. Uh, the only thing about doing that is it's not really realistic. And those two other cams do the same thing. Um, plus you're wasting all three of your valve cams, but still it's a good camera. Oh, I guess you can pick it up from over here. I just saw the prompt for it. So I guess you can pick it up from over there. I just never have. Uh, let's see if we could do something with that other camera. Just to show you guys what I'm talking about. If not, it's fine. Yeah, see, so you could do stuff like that and that's really hard to see. Yeah, honestly, that's probably the best camera I've ever put in Boiler Room. So let's see it from an attacker side of view. Let's say I already took over here. You can kind of see it, but the bars blend in with it a lot. And then, I mean, even in my... Well, I guess in my peripheral, I'll see it better. Uh, that's why I like to actually keep it behind this keypad or whatever. Um, is because if it's behind there, you're not going to see it. Especially if you're sitting over here, let's say you're like reloading or something or like you're on cams or something You come off. I mean if you're over here, you're not gonna see it, you know, whatever But yeah, it's really good if you want to catch people on pillars or if you want to watch elbow over here uh, But yeah, that's gonna be my first cam Next ones are actually gonna be an attic first one you could put over here it kind of works as those corner cameras I was talking about but it watches over all of attic the next one is going to be over here. Same thing with attic. However, you rarely see anybody looking up there. There's just no reason to look up there. Um, the only problem is that it looks straight down whenever you put the camera down. So you're only going to be able to see straight down. It's only if someone's over here. It works well if, for example, you have a shield operator and they put a shield right here. Then it works well because then you can walk, you can watch the shield. You can give callouts. Um, people are going to be more hesitant if that shield is there, especially in late game. But other than that, it's kind of a basic cam, not really worth it. Um, and then you have your closet cam right here. I happen to like this cam a lot. I use it uh, whenever I go any camera operator. So that's Mozzie, that's Echo, that's Valkyrie, it's whoever you know. Uh, what it's good for is what if uh, they want to breach this closet over here. Um, well, you can use that. You can pre-place a C4 underneath. So like you see right here. 
and then you just set it off and the c4 radius is gonna kill anyone in this room just make sure they actually know the placement of it because if there is a breach in the floor they'll be able to hear that and then they'll send someone or they will uh, fracture it, it fractures and bands, and then your your C4 will be gone. So you won't be able to use it. Next one, pretty simple. Just on that big tree over there, just gonna line it up like that. You have been spotted. Oh, and I guess I missed it. Try again. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Okay, yeah, that works. It just watches the balcony. And if you get on the right angle, so no, I believe if you get it on like that branch, I want to say, what it actually does is you can watch game room window right here. You see it? So you can watch game room window from right here if you get on that branch over there. Yeah, the next one's actually going to be in small tower. Um, it's going to be over here. It's gonna be on that windmill. You're just gonna line it up like that. And yeah, watches all of this balcony. Uh, watches small tire window, one of them at least. Uh, there's still another one on the outside. So yeah. Another camera that's pretty common that I don't do personally, but that's pretty good, uh, is putting a camera right there or anywhere on here. Uh, you could even put it, I think you could stick it to that right over there. It's quite a throw though. A camera that I lean to personally though is if you go over here, and then that's called shooting range over there. You just stick it. My bad. I'll be right back. You will be spotted. Yeah, so you go in big tower, and then you throw it. And yeah, stick it right over there. That's honestly a good place to stick it. Uh, if you stick it any lower or any further down, uh, you get less vision. So in here, you can actually see all the way into B site if you do open up that window. You can see some of the windows up here. You can see this balcony over here. You can see the balcony uh, close to A site. You can see small tire window, the other one. All right, so heading into zero. Uh, Oregon and Zero don't really mix well. Oregon's just really cramped. However, there's a lot of soft spots that you can make uh, use of. So for example, this area right here, let's say you just repelled and you wanna watch your flank. If you put that here, you can watch your flank. And yeah, it's a pretty simple cam. That's uh, only used for your flank. Uh, if you're out of drones, I'd say use it. Don't use it if you still have drones because it's just a waste of an Argus camera. Uh, so for the next one, it's gonna be Attic. So up here, you could actually shoot right here. Uh, so it's already shot out. But once you get that shot out, just go ahead and shoot that bear. And now you have the reverse Valkyrie camera. You can do a reverse shooting range, as I said. So the shooting range over here. That's only used for if you know you're going to be planting in this area. So let's say I plant right here. Then I could see their head because they're gonna be crouched like that. But yeah, uh, besides that, I wouldn't use that cam. It's kind of a waste of an Ar Argus cam. And it's you can only see this one window. You could also see it, again, if you put it on the edge, you could see it over here. Uh, but that's the only use for that Argus cam. Another thing that you could do is you can make use of these bunk beds. So because bunk beds uh, are on a soft floor, you could actually put an Argus cam underneath them and they won't be able to shoot it unless they know where it's at. So for example, if you put an Argus cam right here, uh, and that's typically the best location to place it, if you put an Argus cam right there, uh, the person that's hiding over here or whatever, they won't know where it's at. Your person and kids, they won't know where it's at. If a person is playing over here, they won't know where it's at because it's actually not going to be the size of the breach. It's actually going to be in this corner if you get it correctly. Again, it takes a little bit more of a map knowledge, but it definitely pays out. So you get cams at like cams right here. 
all of these that are on soft platforms, you can get cams on there. So it just takes being creative. Okay, so if we go ahead and take a look at those cams, this one actually works out perfectly. It looks amazing. So if you guys think of uh, the open hatch right here, you go a little bit to the left. So on this one right here, it's gonna be a bunk bed. This, These three blocks, two and a half blocks are gonna be a bunk bed. And this is the view you get, which is pretty nice. I like to play Thunderbird right here in this corner. Um, so yeah, you can shoot those out. Uh, if you have a mirror, that's right here. Now you have a new anti-mirror tool. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. You can watch rotation. Anywhere that anyone plants in this room, you can see it. Anything that happens in this room, you can see it now from this one cam. And it's pretty hard to see. And then the other one, it's going to be in CCTV. I believe that's what it's called at least. Uh, don't think of it as right here. Uh, think of it as like right there. Put it right there, you should be good because that's where the initial hole was. But that's ideally where you're going to want it. That way if they have any Jaegers or anything on the window, uh, or any cap cans or anything on the window, anything on the window, you could get that for your teammates. Yeah, but it just takes a little bit of map knowledge. Um, but as far as zero cams, those, those are the only ones. Every other site is straightforward and you get the cams that you need and it should be good. But yeah, that's gonna be it for Oregon. Uh, now time for Outback. All right, moving on to the next map. We have our operator zero gonna be on Outback and the reason I want to start with Zero is because I find him more useful on uh, Outback than any other map. Well I can't really say that. I find him more useful on this map than any of the other maps I've stated. Uh, but yeah getting into it you have one straight off the bat in Garage. Let's say you want to see into Party. Go over here. Reach that wall or whatever and now you can see both Garage and Party at the same time. Or is that office? Yeah, that's office. But yeah, you can see that. That's a common Valk spot as well. So let's say you know they want Valk and they want this site. It's party and office. Um, you can shoot the Valk cam from up here. You remember how I said Valk camp should be low risk, high reward, and should be far away from you. Otherwise, there's no point in using a Valk cam or a zero cam and you should just use a drone. So this is one of them. You could do that one. You could also hop in the car, get a better angle, get uh, actually get into your office. And what they did with Outback is there's a, long of, a lot of long hallways. So let me just show you another one. Let's say you're coming in from over here. They're playing, uh, I believe it's green and red. I'm not really sure what it is. If you wanna get that right over there you could for free and now you're watching breach over here you're watching that right there if anyone's hiding behind the glass right there you're watching that so honestly one of the best zero cams you can get on this uh, map besides the garage cam the garage cam is also really good but this one is just really low risk I mean the only risk you have is bumping into them Located right here on this doorway but that's usually why i like to go over here you could even do it over here you jump through this window they'd hear that more though uh you could also because there's that right there if you want to uh come from up top that also works but this just eliminates the facts of going around this and then it's kind of an obstruction you know, you don't really need to do that. And if you get a teammate to come over here through the main entrance, all they have to do is breach over here, and then you can sort of secure that. You go flank watch. You can do a lot of things with that camera. If you open up this wall right here, you plant right here, you'll still be able to see me.
So another great one is, let's say I did come in through the back entrance. An easy cam for me would be right here. What this does is, one, it watches laundry over here, then it also watches piano up there without giving me any risk whatsoever. If I go right here, I'm not gonna be seen by either of those locations and you're gonna have a hard time hearing me. The only thing that's gonna give away my location is this zero cam right here because it makes an auditory cue whenever you shoot it. But as long as you line it up like right with the wall right there, like that, it works perfectly fine. The reason I say if you line it up with a wall over there is, let's say someone does manage to hear it from over here, or they just peek, that's pretty obvious. You could also do the same thing if, let's say you do take bunks over here. You take this area, you can shoot it right there. Let's say if I need to see into a piano, I can just shoot a cam right there and it works the same way. It also flank watches, so you can watch these stairs over here. It does a number of things. It also works the opposite way, however. I'm coming in from over here. I can shoot a camera all the way over there, and it watches green stairs, and it watches the entrance towards uh, bunks. Let's say someone's hiding over here, you'll be able to see them uh, without risking anything. Yeah, whenever you're dissecting this whole top area, that's how I like to think about it, is three, uh, three long hallways. So if you go through over here, you can even put a Valcam up here. That's what I sometimes do. Come in right over here. The only thing you have to risk is just one Valcam. You can even get into Breach, so if you need to see inside there. That watches Ghoul, that watches whatever this area is called. I forgot what it's called all the time. Games. Watches games, watches bull, there's a rotate over here or whatever. But yeah, it also works. This whole top area is really good for zero. That's why I said zero is like really good on this map. Um, so let's say I did put a cam right over there, right? Uh, it watches flank. So if they did play up here, I open up this wall. I could watch it from there but I, I could also watch games. Also, happy birthday if it's your birthday and you're turning 20 and Ubisoft. Yes, but happy birthday. Oh, wow. That looks very vulgar. Tasted delicious though. But yeah, it's a pretty good camera. Uh, it takes a few steps, I mean, but all Outback is, really, the top floor, is hallways. You go through here, go through the next one, you go through here. This map also works really well with Kali. You just have to have a lot of synergy, but I mean, even you open up this wall, you open up the wall behind it, and if you open up this wall, you'll be able to see all the way into sight from literally laundry. Or not laundry, sorry. From uh, dorms or kids or whatever this is called. Yeah, but it's pretty in favor for Zero. I don't think there's any other notable uh, Zero camps for him. Again, everything I say is situational. So you're not gonna need this if you're going downstairs. You know? But yeah, that's gonna be my zero cams for Alpac. Now time for the Valk cams. All right, so getting into some more Valk cameras. Next one is just gonna be in on the exterior right here. It's pretty easy. Um, the only thing is that it limits it to only this exterior because this roof is on here and you can't see anything else. So for the next one, it's actually gonna be on this motel sign here. And there's two ways to do it. One, you can do it from Reptile or you can do it from Dorms. Uh, it's easier if you do it from dorms because you're higher up your and you're detected less. So yeah, I'd only advise doing a motel sign, Valkyrie camera, if two things occur. One, if you're not going to be using this wall, so let's say you're on the other side of the building or you're a mechanic or something over there, if you're not going to be using this wall, that's fine. 
The only thing it's used for though is to watch literally everything on this side uh, because you can literally watch every entrance on this side. You can watch all the way from garage entrance and obviously the higher up you get it, the better the camera is. Um, you can probably get it higher. You, can spot it. you just have to aim higher. Uh, the other reason I wouldn't advise this is, let's say you're over here, like I am in Longtree. Uh, you only want to use this if people are going to reinforce this again, because you don't want this giant gaping hole in this wall. Because then they're just going to run in, they're going to rush you, and then you're going to lose automatically. However, if you do have people to reinforce it, um, you could do it. And the cool thing about Valkyrie is, even though she has the Nitro Cell, she also has impact grenades. So impact grenades also help out her kit. Uh, you don't have to bring a shotgun and you don't have to waste any, uh, anybody else's time. So yeah, here's what it looks like when it's higher up because I have actually gotten it this high. I got to like the bottom of that, um, but you can see everything. So for example, if they breach a hole in the garage, you can see that they're going into bull, you can see that. Or if you're going into games, you can see that. You can even see, uh, you can see everything. I mean, if you're looking at the dorm rotate, that's right there. You can see it. So yeah, it's pretty good. I usually do this one in combination with the balcony one. That way I get a crystal clear picture of exactly where they are if they are outside. And it's pretty good. So another really easy valve cam that honestly doesn't, um, it doesn't require you to get spotted or anything is this one. If you come in from garage and you're on this balcony over here, you can throw it right over there on those vents and you can see everything. Well, almost everything. You can't see the entrances, but you can see from far away and rarely anyone's going to see this. It's basically like a second default cam. That's also what the motel camera is. Um, except a moto camera takes a lot more skill um, But this one is kind of free. You can see basically everything This could also be good if you're spawn peeking or if you're rushing spawn So let's say the timer ran out and you throw that right there You get on cams real quick and then you see where they are if they're spawning back over here And then you can just spawn peek them by hostile, yeah, back. but it's pretty good. Doesn't require you to get uh, detected whatsoever. Alright, so another common valve placement is right over here. And honestly, it does work. There's not really a better one, per se. Uh, you could put it up here, but just in these rafters uh, and the scaffolding, uh, that's probably your best bet for valve placement over here if you want to watch both office and garage. What I do if I'm running a party in office is I put one between this scaffolding up there and then I also put one over here, right over there in that corner. And yes, that is pretty blinding. Uh, but besides that, I don't have any other valve camera placements. You could also put a camera over here, but the camera is r the default camera is right over there. And honestly, these camera placements aren't that good. Also, I just noticed that there. If I stick that up there, I could probably stop a drone from going down there. Maybe. Who knows? But anyway, that's going to be the end of my video for today. If you liked, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.